Ever since the discontinuation of the iPod Touch 7th generation, the first generation of iPod has increased in price drastically. Only a few years ago, it was actually possible to get an iPod first generation for under $100 quite easily. However, used models are now frequently selling for over $300 to $400, which begs the question, is it still worth buying one? In today's video, I'm going to try to help you make a decision. Whether you're a collector or an investor or anything in between, I'll be talking about the pros and the cons about potentially buying one. Without further ado, I may as well just start with the basics. Of course, the first generation of iPod was initially released back in 2001, making it over 20 years old. This is important to consider before buying one because components like the battery and hard drive can often fail. There do exist replacement parts that you can purchase, but of course it's just another cost that you may need to consider. Another thing is that these iPods use Firewire. So unless you have an older Mac that does support Firewire, or if you're willing to spend the $89 or however much it is for the Firewire dongles, you may need to consider that as an extra cost. With the 10 iPod first generations that I've purchased over the years, I've had to replace four batteries and five hard drives. And in terms of the computer that I use to sync and restore and, you know, do whatever I need to do to the iPods to get them working again, I use a MacBook Pro from 2012, which does have a Firewire 800 port. Now, in terms of me recommending that you should or shouldn't purchase one, it all just depends on if you have the available funds to spend and where you want to be in your Apple collection. I can, however, say if you ever intend to have a first generation iPod in your collection, now definitely would be the time to buy one. However, I would recommend not immediately just buying the first listing you see, but trying to scout out a deal. These iPods can still, very rarely I mind you, sell for anywhere between $150 to $200, which in my opinion is a really good deal for these iPods, especially considering what they are and the history they hold. There is no real telling of what prices these iPods can go up to or what they may fall to. So being that I filmed this video in June of 2022, who knows what they're at at this point when you're seeing this video. You could be seeing this video a few years down the line maybe and they could be thousands or they could be dropped back down to $150 each. But in terms of my opinion, if you ever intend on having one or you just want to have a fun investment that you can actually play around with, I would say go for it. But I also would like to talk about the second generation of iPod model, which at this current time, I wouldn't recommend buying one. Now, that's not because the second generation of model is bad by any means. In fact, it's almost exactly the same as the first generation model which is the problem because a lot of people end up selling second generation models as first generation models when in reality they're two completely different models entirely. But if you look at the prices that second generation models have been selling on eBay, it's very, I would say, uncomfortably close to how much first generation models sell for. And if you're already going to be investing $250 for a second generation model, you may as well just increase the price a bit and then get a first generation model because in, you know, maybe 15 or 20 years, if these things do go up in price like to thousands of dollars, do you think someone's going to want the first generation or the second generation? But that's not to say if you're able to find a second generation model for a really good deal, like as you're probably seeing on screen, some of them sold for 80 to 100, 150, I'd still recommend getting one, but... I would recommend if it's closer to the price of a first generation, just get the first generation. But of course I would want to mention that this is just all my take on it. Who knows, maybe the first generation of iPod goes down to $50 and the second generation is the one that's worth so much. Who knows, but this is just all my take based off of what I've seen happening. I have been following the prices for the first generation of iPod for quite a number of years now which is why I've been able to get so many for like, um, I think the lowest I paid was like $50 for one and the highest I've ever paid was maybe 120. But I just wanted to give my take. Um, take this information, do with it what you will. And yeah, just I hope I've either convinced you or convinced you not to buy one. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.